Okay, this video is gonna be really straightforward. This is about truck pre-trips. Now, before you dismiss this, I just wanna say that I've trained a lot of guys, I've done a lot of road tests with people, and they always miss things. Um, I mean, it's very rare that somebody hits all of the right things. So I wanna give you just this really straightforward training. I'll give you seven things to look for, and if you do this and get into a routine, you can check out your truck in like less than three minutes. You combine that with our trailer video, which is three to five minutes, you can check out 90% of the things on your truck in less than 10 minutes and stop running into little problems that you can prevent just by looking at it before you take off for the day. So let's watch this video and get really good at these things. These seven things are lights, tires, hub oil levels, inner wheel seals, engine fluid levels, radiator hoses, and belts. Now it sounds like a mouthful, but it's super straightforward. You already do four of those things on the trailer, so we're just adding three things to account for the engine. I'm gonna start by walking around the truck. This truck has a really cool feature where I can turn on all the lights with this light test function. If your truck doesn't have that, it's no big deal. You can still turn on all your lights yourself and check your headlights and hazards and brake lights. But if you have this feature, it's awesome. Start thumping tires. Check my hub oil level, that looks great. Coming in here, this is a great opportunity when you're checking your inner wheel sill. You also get the chance to look at your brakes. This has disc brakes, so we need to look at the backside to the inspection panel there. Drum brakes you'll be able to see really easily, of course. Let's keep moving around the truck. Thumping those tires, and also while I'm on this side, one thing I love to check is make sure your fifth wheel release lever is all the way in, suggesting that your kingpin is locked in. I know that sounds simple, but we've seen it where it's not fully locked, and that's a great way to find out. Now we're going to come back behind the truck. You notice that we couldn't see hub oil levels on the drives because they don't have sight glasses. That's okay. For the drives, just come back here with the light. Shine those on the wheel sills. See if any oil's on there. As we're doing this, once again, it's a great opportunity to see the brakes. We can see our inspection cover back in here that we could look at our disc brakes. And then I'm also looking at my lines. I'm looking at my airbags. Anything chafing? Any cords exposed, all that type of stuff. We're back here, we can see our lights. Brake lights are looking great. And then while I'm back here, one thing I like to check as well is I take my light and I shine it up on the jaws of my fifth wheel. It's a huge safety thing if that's not locked in and it's super easy to check. We can see the jaws are around the kingpin. We're doing great. Now I'm gonna go around the other side of the truck and check all the same things. Okay, we've walked around, we've seen all the lights, we've checked the tires, checked wheel seals, seen a lot of the undercarriage, this is great. Let's move on to the engine. Let's start with fluid levels. Probably one of the most basic things when it comes to a pre-trip is checking your oil. Everyone knows how to do that. For the most part, I've seen people who don't. Make sure you first pull your dipstick, wipe it off, and then put it back in. Checking my level, it's excellent. It's right up to the full mark. Well, I wanna put a note in here about engine oil level. You have a full mark and an add mark, as you can see, the add mark's the lowest one. I've seen a lot of guys, if it's not all the way up to the full mark, they think it's low and they need to add oil. That's not true. In between full and add is perfectly fine. Below add, you need to add oil. But if it's between, just leave it. Don't worry about it. Engine oil is good. Washer fluid, of course this isn't something that your truck won't run without, but if you get in a snowstorm without washer fluid, you'll learn why it's important to have. Let's check our coolant level. Coolant reservoir, reservoir is on this side of the truck. So I can see my lines, it's see-through, so that's super easy, right? That's so helpful. We have trucks that aren't see-through in some, so you pop the cap, you look down inside, and see if it's to the top. It's just that easy. So we've checked fluid levels. Next, let's talk radiator hoses. It's really not a mystery. Radiator hoses, make sure they're not rubbing, make sure they're not leaking. For example, I'm just noticing this apparently has got a little leak going on here. That's a great sign that a hose might be going out. You usually can't tell if they're about to go bad, but what you can look for is 
anything that's rubbing where it shouldn't be, they've got all these clamps here to help with that, but if they come loose, they can rub. So that's what you're trying to find. And then just seeing if you see any leaks in general. At the same time, I'm seeing all these other lines. Are any of my heat shields around my turbos loose? Has any of the loom come off? That's what I'm looking for. Last, at the same time, I wanna be checking my belts. And the other side's easier on this truck. Now with belts, it's no rocket science. You just give them a good tug to make sure they're tight, to make sure your tensioner's functioning. And then you try and kind of bend them inside out to look for cracking. If any of the ribs are cracking, that's a sign that the belt's going bad. It needs to be replaced. Super easy to um, replace or fix a belt, but if it goes out, you're down. Same time, now I'm on this side of the engine. I can see all these air lines here. I can see all this loom for air and electrical lines. Look at that stuff. Is any of it cut? Is any of it rubbed through? You don't have to be a mechanic to see that a hose is damaged, right? You can see that stuff. So don't be afraid to just take a minute and look. And that's it. We've done those seven things. Now it took longer in this video because I'm explaining it to you, but this is three minutes worth of work. You get into routine, super easy. I promise if you check these seven things on the truck, watch our trailer video and check those four things on the trailer, 95% of your problems are gone because you're gonna find them before they're actually a problem. Be safe.